Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Fire Science here. I hope everyone is well. Aries, we're throwing your cards down for the month of June 2021. I mean, we're just a couple of days into June, right? So it's about time, isn't it? All right, this reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. With the message given to the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. It's throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends with cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome. And I appreciate you stopping by, fellow Fire Sign brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. It's good to have you. Okay. Before we get into the invocation and throwing down your cards, there is two things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. You have free will, and I encourage you to exercise it to the best of your ability. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to the cards. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message. If it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, it is not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not your message. It's not always going to be your message, Aries. It's not meant for you. Leave it on the table and walk. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, June 2021. Thank you for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Aries to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Aries, why are you here? The Three of Pentacles reversed. Some's not coming together. Shaky foundations. It's not, or it's not coming together how you wanted it. I mean, we'll get clarity here shortly. What happened? Hermit reversed. The hermit in the upright speaks of the healing of introspection, finding the inner light and harnessing your inner light and following down the path that you're supposed to go down, no matter how dark it is, because you will have your inner light to light your way. You're ignoring something. Or you ignored it. That's the past. You want to see it. Hmm. Hmm. Nine of Wands. So you ignored something and then you built walls around yourself. Or you decided to just keep pushing through anyway. Take it over, resonates. It can swing both ways with the Nine of Wands. You ignored it, you pushed through it. Next. Ten of Cups. So you're happy, but the foundations are shaky. You ignored something in the past or didn't want to see it. I mean, the Ten of Cups is bliss. And I like this particular one because... Not all the cups are upright. Because sometimes the road to bliss ain't so blissful. Even when you're in a state of bliss, it's not always blissful. It's not supposed to be. To be quite frank and honest, it's not supposed to be bliss all the time. I mean, it should be. <laughs> At least that's what we think or how we feel. It's not supposed to be bliss all the time. It's a journey. It's a path. It's a road. And sometimes that journey to bliss, cups get spilled. Shut up and read cards, Faith. Okay. Nine of Swords reversed and the Five of Swords. Okay. End of the day. 
that five of swords in an exchange of words. Huh. That funny thing about the amp, oh, that reverse nine of swords. It's one of those cards. It can swing either way. It depends on the cards that are next to it, around it, clarifying it. It's either not giving it a second thought and it's not keeping you up at night. Or you're going to go completely bat crap bonkers about it. Let's see what the other side of the deck has to say. The hanged man. Acceptance of the state of the situation. The foundations are shaky. It is what it is. Nothing you can do about it. But you may be up in the hangman gallows about it a little bit. We'll get the clarity here in a second. Why is the hermit reversed? What's up with this hermit reversed? Five of cups going on top of it. Sadness. You ignored your sadness. Yours or somebody else's. This is why I got to get clarity. The fool on top of the nine of wands. One last push. One last time. One more journey, one more try. That hermit reversed is isolation. Isolation due to sadness. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Queen of Wands reversed. Submissive. <laughs> this is actually kind of embarrassing. I should probably... No. I'm hearing and feeling submissive energy. Two seconds. I gotta look something up. Hold on. I gotta find my book. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. The tarot reader stumped. Hold on. And yes, I'm not ashamed to say it. I looked it up. I looked in the book. Something I hardly ever do. But I was stumped for a second. Happiness. But things aren't moving. Little smidge of submissiveness, possibly. We'll see what the clarifiers have to say. So there's happiness, but things aren't moving. Nope, wrong way. Two of Wands. Ace of Swords. Very good, very good. Okay. Aries. The Two of Wands on top of this Nine of Swords reversed. Bat poop bonkers. Mm hmm. Crossroads, it's about letting go and moving on versus hanging on. See, you're starting something new, possibly, accepting the lack of a foundation, let the situation at hand, 
accepting it for what it is. It's like, okay, we're happy, but where do we go from here? Only you can decide that, Aries. That's tween y'all. I'm just throwing down cards. Okay. King of Pentacles Reverse just came out in the shuffle. Hmm. You know what? I'm not putting it back in. It's going to go right there. And it's going to fall off the damn table. What do you know? Give me two seconds. I got to like move the table. Hold on. Okay, I got it. Where were we? All right. King of Pentacles Reverse came out. Unstable foundations, someone not feeling worthy now, possibly, but accepting the fate of the situation. Or are you? Four swords reversed. Hmm. You're still restless about it. Can you be accepting and restless at the same time? And that's like, it is what it is, but it still ticks me off. Seven of Wands upright. But you're taking charge of your emotions. You're taking charge of your actions, and that's good. You're still standing up for what you believe in, but I don't, I don't think that... It's more internal and external, I think. Hmm. Why is the hermit reversed here? Karma reversed. Did you leave something unfinished? Why is the Five of Cups here? Five of Swords and Death. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Aries. So possible straying from the path, leaving something unfinished, possibly. And on top of the sadness, there's a five of swords. There's another one. Showed up twice. And death. Death is the transformation card. It is... It doesn't talk about cycles. It talks about your soul. It talks about change within you. This sadness changed you somehow. I don't know if it was your sadness or the sadness of the other person, but it deeply affected you. And I think it deeply affected the next relationship you got into. Hmm. All right. That took a minute. Death cycles take a minute. Sometimes. Sometimes it's very seldom it is it a snap. Very seldom. All right. Why is Nine of Wands here? At least in my experience, death cycles aren't something that happen quickly. And for reversed. The loneliness. What is an emperor with no empire? 
a very lonely man. That is an emperor with nothing to take care of and no one to take care of. Hmm. Take it out, it resonates. Insert your pronoun, you know, wherever. Why is fool here? Three swords reversed. And yes, I'm closing my sweater with a hair clip. Leave it alone. You gave it one last push because you were sick of being sad and alone. I mean, you know, that's fine. If you're ready, do it. Were you ready? I don't think you were. went through a death cycle. Yeah, you did. But you left something hanging out there. It's possible to have a spiritual change within yourself and still leave a cycle unfinished. It's very possible to do that. That's why retrogrades happen so you can go back and clean up your crap. I'm kidding. I mean, that's part of why retrogrades happen, but never mind. Never mind that. Don't mind me. I'm just a crazy tarot reader. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ace of Cups reversed. Why the Ace of Cups reversed? wands. Celebrations, foundations, spilled cups. It's not like it was. It's not like it was. I'm hearing it's not like it was. It's not like it was. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here? High Priestess reversed. Egos. Submissive energy. It's not like it was. Why the high priestess reversed? Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles reversed. You do not feel worthy of this person, do you? One more on that four of wands. One more on that four of wands. Shadow side reversed.
submissive energy, someone you don't feel worthy of. It's not like it was. They aren't like they were. <sighs> I'm hearing and I'm sensing you feel like you're in too deep. Aries, are you getting cold feet? Somebody's getting cold feet. I don't know if it's you or them, but somebody's getting cold feet. Breaking away from something that's not serving you. Okay. This is super weird. Why is the Nine of Swords reversed here for the future? Ace of Wands reversed, no start. The candle blew out. Why the Ace of Wands reversed? Four of Pentacles landed in the upright. The flame didn't ignite, but you're still holding on to it. I don't know who I'm talking to. Aries of the Crossbar, but somebody's still holding on to it. Somebody's not letting it go. Meanwhile, somebody is moving on. Why is the Two of Wands here? World reversed. Unfinished business. Why the world reversed? Kind of swords. Aries. You know, when, when you hurt yourself and you get caught and you got to put a band-aid on it real quick before, because it's bleeding pretty bad. And sometimes when you go to take that band-aid off, the wound opens back up again. I think that's what happened here. I think you were sent back to a place from which you came in a little bit of a way. There was an abrupt change here. Might have been abrupt, might not have been. 
It was an exchange of words anyway. Something got left hanging out there. Possibly because feelings and, and emotions were ignored or they weren't approached the right way. Something something happened. You threw a band-aid on it real quick and then it got deep. Something got cold feet. But the foundations the foundation wasn't steady. This person maybe made you feel like you weren't worthy of them. Or you weren't enough. Maybe you were put into a submissive situation that you had to break away from. I see somebody going back to something to close something out. It's retrograde. Y'all gonna do that. It's, it is what it is. <sighs> Why is this Five of Swords down here? Love is in Three of Cups. What? What? Now before you get all, woohoo, hold the phone. This is deep friendship. This is soulmates coming back together. Might not be romantic. Might just be coming to terms of being friends again. Getting to each other's energy again. Making it positive. Could be. One more on this Five of Swords. The Hanged Man and the Six of Cups Reverse. Oh, wow. Holy Moses. I accept that the energy was not so happy between us. that exchange was not positive. This is a conversation. Why that Six of Cups reversed? Queen of Cups, I still care about you. Wow. Aries, wow. Conversation's coming. It, it's Tis the season, y'all. Tis the season. <laughs> You're gonna get weird messages from people you ain't heard from in years. Just happened to me today. <laughs> it really did. Just happened to me today. Just this morning. I'm not an Aries. I'm a fire sign. I'm, I'm a Sagittarius. Just happened to me this morning. Somebody I hadn't talked to in, like, years. It's a random message. I'm like, what? <laughs> Hello, how are you? I think he's a Capricorn. I don't know. You know what I messaged back? Oh, wow. It is retrograde, isn't it? And I just put the phone down. He didn't say anything back. Because I'm not dealing with it. But never mind. We're talking about you. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Let's talk. I know this is a long time coming, but let's talk. I don't know if it's going to be you or it's going to be them. But the conversation is going to take place. 
Aries, it's up to you what you do with it. And I think it's whatever happened back here. Because I think whatever happened in here... You had to take a band-aid off. Band-aids don't heal wounds. Time does. Band-aids cover them up so you don't get anything else in them. Just throwing that out there, Aries. Knight of Swords reversed, Four of Cups reversed. If you're not interested, don't take the cup. Point blank is simple. If you just do not talk to them, not deal with it, if you've blocked communication entirely and you want nothing to do with it, don't do not do with it. It's your choice. It's your free will. Do what you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to throw down cards and have a good time. Don't engage if you're not interested. King of Cups reversed and the Three of Cups upright. It's okay. I know what they say. Leave your exes in the past. I know. I'm going to tell you right now. And I will say this to y'all. Some of my best friends are men that I have dated in the past. Really? Some of my best friends. You know why that is? You know why that is? One, they know never to cross me again. <laughs> two, two, when you have that kind of connection with somebody, when your souls connect like that, it, and, and you break each other's hearts, if you're capable of being friends after you put each other through some shit, that's amazing. Let me tell you, I'm not throwing blame on them, and they don't throw blame on me because it took two. It took two to make it happen. It took two to screw it up. So if you can survive that and be friends, more power to you. I'll tell you that right now. Queen of Wands upright and the Eight of Cups reversed. When you believe in yourself and you have confidence in yourself and you let your light shine, yes, they will come flocking back to you. Absolutely. Make sure I'm taking from the right deck here. Yeah, I'm taking from the right deck. Okay. <laughs> the Wheel of the Year reversed and the Ace of Swords reversed. Okay. If you know that whatever may be coming back to you is going to back come back to you and spiral into a downward cycle of events, don't engage. It goes back to if you don't want what is in that cup, don't even touch it. Okay. <laughs> the advice came full circle. If you don't want nothing to do with it, don't do it. If you're comfortable doing it, do it. Okay. Aries, that's your June. Much love. Be blessed. Thanks for coming by. Have one hell of a June. <laughs> we'll catch you next time.